I'm delighted to be here tonight to present Fairfax Dorn with the Marion McDowell, the fourth annual Marion McDowell Arts Advocacy Award. So I encourage everyone who doesn't know much about Fairfax to read the program, because I'm not going to read the bio, the notes. Um, and as Sharon said, Fairfax is a towering figure in the lives of many artists, and certainly, yes. <laughs> and certainly has been a towering figure in my life as an artist and also as a friend. So I'd like to share some notes that I wrote tonight to honor Fairfax. What are the chances that I would sit down to write my remarks, planning to begin them with a question I remembered from a poem by the late American poet Jane Kenyon, only to discover she wrote the poem at, Mad at McDowell, and it's even titled Afternoon at McDowell. <laughs> literally, that's literally. It, what are the chances? What are the chances that after nearly 20 years of friendship, I'd have the great privilege to be here tonight to pay tribute and to honor Fairfax Dorn. In the case of Fairfax, quite high as she makes friendship not only possible, but generative, necessary, and sustaining. I have not met many, if any, like Fairfax. Her spirit, her humble and clear sense of generosity, her commitment to art and those who create it. Some of my favorite places in the world are those created by Fairfax. She is able to transform space, to create a sense of mutual belonging, gracious comfort, ease, and grace. In short, a reflection of who she is. Some part of us chooses who we are who we are going to be, how we are going to regard, how we are going to treat each other, what and who we are going to be committed to, what and who we are going to open ourselves to, and of course, what and who we are going to love. To show kindness in moments when it may not seem necessary, to stand up for someone or something when no one will see you standing, to give someone something, an idea, a chance, when it could just as easily be ignored. This is the character of Fairfax Dorn. So what was that question that Jane Kenyon wrote at McDowell? Here it is. I believe in the miracles of art, but what prodigy will keep you safe beside me? It's an imposing question, and one will only begin to be able to answer in regards to art if we continue to create it. Art requires dedication, foolishness, chaos, quiet, and an abundance of beautiful noise. And also clarity of purpose, clarity of vision, and a resounding faith in our humanistic potential. McDowell makes these pursuits possible. Fairfax, you make these pursuits possible. Let us honor these pursuits and the gift of each other let us honor my dear friend, Fairfax Dorn. Wow, that was 
um, remarkable and so, so touching, Adam. Thank you. I'm so humbled. God, I give you a little background on Adam and where we came, where we, where, how we connected. Um, when Virginia and I invited Adam Pendleton to be a part of one of our first major exhibition, Optimo, in 2004, he took a leap into the unknown, making something completely interactive. He had CD Walkmans attached to the walls. Yes, the CD Walkmans with the headphones. Through the headphones, he asked simple questions. How do you feel today? What color is the sky? He asked the listeners to write their answers on the wall. At the end of the exhibition, after many months, on the brightly yellow painted walls, it was graffiti with so many emotions and answers, head to toe. The piece was the very beginning of Adam's incredible artistic path. The same with Jonah Freeman and his epic art installation, Hello Meth Lab in the Sun. The same with Matthew Day Jackson or Liz Cohen and Aaron Sheriff's Ash Sculptures and Will Villalongo and his magnificent stained glass window and showing Michael Amarada's films through Joss Siegel at Ballroom was all incredibly special and with, along with many more amazing minds and talents. But we have a long way to go as we have only worked with about 900 artists, whereas McDowell has engaged with 8,000 artists, which is astonishing. Mary McDowell was a true visionary beyond her time 120 years ago. Like McDowell, Ballroom Marfa was simply an experiment, experiment, an idea only created 20 years ago. Giving artists space to take risks, giving artists time to make giving artists freedom to create and to explore their vision is paramount to ensure we treasure, honor, and interpret the evolution of our complex humanity. Tremendous gratitude goes out to Christine Fisher, Josh Siegel, David Macy, Amy Sorkin, and the rest of the McDowell board. What an extraordinary group of people. Thank you for believing in me and Ballroom Marfa Loved my visit to Peterborough this summer for Metal Day. Everyone here needs to experience that community of such a beautiful place that exists within the sacred forest of creativity. Thank you for Sharon Washington and all the incredible musicians tonight for making it so special. And most of all, thank you to Chi. You are the future of McDowell. And it's a true honor to be with here with you tonight and everyone. It's a great privilege to, see, to receive this award in the esteemed footsteps of Ava DeVernay, Mahogany L. Brown, and Susan Uttenberg. Though I would not be standing here tonight without Ballroom's co-founder, an incredible visionary, and my best friend in life, Virginia Leverman. Virginia, I shared this award and honor with you, flowers from a rock, fearless dreamers. More peace is critically needed in this world. I ask that we all take moments in our days to pray for peace and more understanding. Thank you so much.